gift today um, because it is so pleasant and I've been wanting to film my first vlog since So to begin with, let me show you all my plants that I own and I've grown them. They are like 2.5 or 3 years old and I just feel so happy looking at them. They were just this small and now they have grown into tall, tall, big babies. And I'm just so proud of myself for taking care of themselves and then <laughs> Let me first show you in this filter and then we'll just go one by one in the real color that is green. So these are the plants that I have on stairs and the rest I have in my courtyard. Starting with our first ever plant that is Erica palm. You can literally see here three plants, a mama plant and two baby plants. The plant has gone so big, you can see its leaves, they are uh, a hand long leaves. I think it's probably time for my Erica palm for a separation. Can you just appreciate its beauty? Erica palm are just so 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 beautiful. You can see the tips getting brown but it's nothing to worry. Uh, giving them adequate light and water makes them healthy and fit to leaf. Now let's move on to our next plant that is spider lily. It has very beautiful looking and wonderful smelling flowers that are like white in color and I don't know how to describe their smell but it smells so amazing I love this flower smell and I feel like there should have been a perfume of this smell and I would wear it regular the leaves are broad and they are lengthy they are uh, uh, hand length I don't know a meter length how to tell them but you can probably see in this video and it scatters all around it scatters like a spider web and beside that is a money plant Money plant you can see everywhere. This is uh, known as pothos, and almost in every household you can find money plants. My money plant is trailing into another pot, and it have grown roots in it, uh, which is very amazing. I'll have to cut it and uh, repot it, or maybe I'll leave this part in this pot itself. I don't know we'll see what I'll do this pot probably has many plants it also has a juvine erythemum plants so I'll see what I can do now let's just come back to this Diffenbachia pot uh, this leaf has rotten it has actually reached its senescence so I'm removing these yellow leaves uh, to make sure new leaves grow and my plant looks green uh, this plant has, this pot has four plants, a mama by Diffenbachia and three baby Diffenbachias. Two of the babies are literally very small, uh, but still they look so pretty. They look like pothos, but they aren't. The plant has very broad leaves and it grows tall, but after a certain time it uh, falls back. On its own I don't know why but we can also report it and the uh, leaves grow I said uh, coming back to this plant it has a leaves which are very good for health and this is erythemum purple erythemum I guess if I'm not wrong I have quite a lot uh, purple erythemum plants because they are very easy to grow they even grow in water they are uh, they, if you just cut them and put, it, put them back into the soil or water, they grow so fast. Now this I have DIY'd a bottle into a plant holder which has many many plant, pothos plant and they have uh, trailing prothos too which I'll trim in some while. And here is my 
plumeria pot uh, in this i have a tall plumeria plant and there are few uh, bryophyllum plants too which my dad has planted and there is a little curry leaves plant uh, you can see this these plants are there in here and let me show you my plumeria plant which is too tall i will probably cut it short into a half wait a minute the flash of light doesn't allow you to see but still you can i guess yeah you can see it has gone so tall uh, but it isn't showing any flowering i don't know what to do if you have any recommendations please comment down and tell me uh, let's see other plant here is my another money plant which is in a pot <laughs> that is actually a pot shaped pot if you know that it is khada matka whatever you say in this i have grown it is also a diy plant holder these many plants are also growing a uh, bit and here is my broken pot which i have diy'd into a step like looking pot but my cousin sister actually broke it so it looks quite horrible now uh, and here is actually a cooking vessel it was a cooking pot a terracotta pot which actually got a, a hole so i used it as a planter and we have some pebbles in here which my dad ordered from amazon and these are snake plants these are baby snake plants which look quite amazing and i love these baby snake plants and we have another baby snake plant we have um, this dwarf baby snake plants snake plants are actually known as sansevieria so here and this one the dyphon picture which i was talking about it fell down and i have just kept it in soil and it started growing these are curry leaves these randomly grew i haven't planted them and these curry, curry leaves i don't know from where they started growing but this have started growing these are another species of erythemum these have white color uh, flowers and they look so pretty they are very small small and they grow in bunches and this is purple erythemum and these are aloe vera plants small ones i have a large, big aloe vera too this i don't remember its name it was i'll put it down on the screen while editing this is also a snake plant which is now root bond i guess and i need to separate this uh, there is some lighting issue please wear it and then this is exora and here we have uh, the same species i don't remember its name uh, i don't know this these are wild oxalis and as i said i'll tell this plant name later on this is another uh, erythemum plant purple erythemum purple erythemum actually has purple color leaves uh, sorry uh, flowers and they are also in bunches here is another curry leaf plant and this one is actually a variegated variety of hibiscus it's a yellow one uh, there are flowers also that you can see these hibiscus are very very pretty and they are not like the usual red ones they are yellow with a tint of red in middle uh, as you can see it here clearly and uh, then this is a bryophyllum and another aloe vera pot and diphenbachia and this is actually the a uh, main bryophyllum pot where i have almost all of the bryophyllums and here is a uh, a joint plant this is actually a tree a gava tree we have gava and fig tree um, fig and gava tree are planted by my mom um, most of their juvenile care is taken uh, was taken care by my mom but now i take care of them i cut them i maintain them now let's uh, come back to another a uh, row of our plants what am i showing here <laughs> i guess i'm showing you how big uh, the trees are these are actually our hanging plants uh, these are money plants too uh, money plants are i think our family thinks money plants bring money into house what do you think most of the desi household may think that money plants actually bring money into the house but i don't know how true it is uh these are sansevieria plant in that uh, plant angle 
these are another money plant these are they have uh, grown quite long i need to trim them there is a lot of trimming uh, needed in my to my plants i will probably trim them uh, sooner and you'll see uh, the updated version too maybe inshallah we'll see that this is sansevieria because these dwarf sansevieria are very easy to grow and they grow uh, without uh, lot of jhanjhat <laughs> if you know that uh, you and they multiply so fast we have some diy pots too these are mini chotu se ice cream pots a uh, kulfi pots if you know that uh, these are kulfi pots and i have made them into planters and here we go this is actually the view of our house uh, with plants our house looks so beautiful it looks like a garden and i love that so yeah that's it for my first video and if you like the video then subscribe to my channel so that you see more of such videos and more of me so like comment share and subscribe bye thanks for watching